Hey there, ocean explorers. Did you know that killer whales, or as we like to call them, the ocean's rock stars, can grow up to a whopping 10 meters long and weigh as much as 10 tons? That's right, these giants of the sea are like the Beyonce's of the dolphin world, strutting their stuff with style. Now, what's really cool is that killer whales aren't just your average dolphins. They're like the cool kids who stand out in the crowd. They're found all over the world, but each killer whale gang has its own unique vibe. Some are into punk rock, while others are more into pop. It's like they have their own killer whale fashion statement going on. But wait, there's more. These guys aren't just all about looks. Nope, they've got brains too. Killer whales are super brainy with complex social lives that make your Instagram feed look like child's play. They've got their own cliques, they communicate with each other in ways we're still trying to figure out, and they're basically the Einsteins of the ocean. Picture this, a killer whale family reunion, and it's a real family affair. You've got mom, the wise matriarch of the pod, her strapping adult sons, and a bunch of adorable calves of all ages. Talk about a full house. But here's where it gets interesting. Killer whale families aren't just your average clans. They're more like one big happy community. You see, killer whales are all about the love and they're not afraid to show it. Several related families can come together to form a super pod where everyone gets along swimmingly. It's like one big oceanic block party with everyone sharing snacks and swapping stories. but when it comes to matters of the heart, killer whales are all business. Mating? That's strictly reserved for individuals from different pods. After all, nobody wants any awkward family reunions down the line. Let's talk about dinner time. Orcas are like the gourmands of the sea with a taste for the finer things in life. From juicy herring to crunchy rays and even the occasional shark, these guys know how to dine in style. And when it comes to hunting sharks, orcas are all about that liver rich in fats, proteins, and vitamins, it's like the caviar of the sea. But wait, there's more. Some orcas even have a taste for seabirds, like our feathered friends, the penguins. Now, catching a king penguin in the water? That's no easy feat. These birds may be nimble, but they've got nothing on the orca with its super fast speeds of up to 56 kilometers per hour. It's like the Usain Bolt of the sea, leaving those poor penguins in its wake. These oceanic predators are like the Gordon Ramseys of the sea, with a diverse palette that includes about 20 different species of pinnipeds. Think seals, sea lions, and fur seals. It's like a seafood buffet fit for a king. Now, when it comes to hunting sea lions, killer whales are like the ultimate strategists. They'll scout out the weakest link in the sea lion squad and then launch a coordinated attack to isolate their prey. It's like they're playing a game of underwater chess and they're always one step ahead. Once they've got their target in their sights, it's game on. Killer whales will unleash a barrage of tail slaps and body blows, wearing down their prey until it's too exhausted to fight back. And then, with one final decisive blow, the strongest killer whale delivers the knockout punch, and dinner is served. But here's where things get really interesting. Even land isn't safe for these poor sea lions. Yep, you heard that right. Killer whales aren't afraid to take the fight to dry land, and even adult male elephant seals, the biggest, baddest pinnipeds around, aren't safe from their jaws of doom. Now, you might be wondering why dolphins, with their lightning-fast speed and ninja-like maneuverability, fall victim to killer whales so often. Well, it turns out that killer whales are like the ultimate bullies of the sea, with a knack for picking on their smaller, more agile cousins. It's like David and Goliath, but with a much scarier ending. So, picture this. You've got killer whales, the ocean's most mischievous pranksters, teaming up to catch some speedy dolphins. Yep, you heard that right. These oceanic tricksters are like the ultimate tag team, using their killer coordination to outsmart their dolphin pals and score a tasty snack. But here's the kicker. Killer whales aren't just brute force. 
They've got brains too. Each pod has its own secret language, a set of sounds and clicks passed down from generation to generation. It's like they're speaking their own whaley version of Pig Latin, with each pod having its own unique dialect and slang. Now, picture this. You've got orcas, the ocean's most ferocious predators, teaming up to take down some of the biggest creatures in the sea. Whales. Yep, you heard that right. These underwater hunters are like the ocean's version of a SWAT team, with killer coordination and tactics that would make even the Navy SEALs jealous. When it comes to hunting whales, killer whales are like the ultimate tag team wrestlers, delivering bite after bite to immobilize their massive prey. It's like watching a high-stakes wrestling match, with the killer whales working together to bring down their formidable opponent. And get this, no whale is off-limits for these hungry predators, not even the largest animal in the entire history of the Earth, the blue whale. Yep, you heard that right. These guys are like the David and Goliath of the sea, taking on giants that outweigh them by hundreds of tons, but here's where things get really interesting. Orcas aren't just lone wolves when it comes to hunting whales. Nope, they're like the ocean's version of a wolf pack, forming huge pods with more than 75 individuals to take down their massive prey. It's like a feeding frenzy of epic proportions, with orcas swarming their target like a swarm of hungry sharks. And even sperm whales, with their strong jaws and social lifestyles, aren't safe from the jaws of these relentless predators. It's like a battle of the titans, with killer whales proving time and time again that they're the kings of the ocean. Now, imagine this. You've got a seal chilling out on an ice floe, thinking it's safe from the jaws of danger. But little does it know, the killer whales are onto it. Yep, these crafty predators have a trick up their sleeves, and it involves a little thing called teamwork. First up, you've got the scout killer whale, the mastermind behind the operation. This savvy detective uses sound signals to detect the seal, and then signals to the rest of the pod, like a conductor leading an orchestra, to spring into action. But here's where things get really interesting. Instead of just going in for the kill, the killer whales get creative. They swim right under the ice flow, creating a wave that flushes the seal into the water. Talk about a sneaky move. Now, catching a seal on the first try isn't always easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nope, sometimes it takes a few attempts to get that slippery sucker. But do the killer whales give up? Heck no, they're like the energizer bunny of the sea, relentless in their pursuit of a tasty meal. Let's watch these amazing orcas do their thing. Now, picture this. You've got a captive killer whale, stuck in a tank with nothing but time on its fins. Boredom sets in, and suddenly hunting birds becomes the ultimate form of entertainment. Yep, you heard that right. These whales are like the ultimate bird watchers, with a knack for luring unsuspecting feathered friends into their clutches. So, how do they do it? Well, it's all about the bait and the patience. The killer whale starts by tossing a small fish far ashore, tempting the birds with an easy meal. It's like a game of cat and mouse, with the whales slowly lulling the birds into a false sense of security. They start tossing fish closer and closer to the water, making it seem like they're not even interested in the birds. It's like they're playing hard to get, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when that moment comes, it's like something out of a nature documentary. The orca puts bait in the perfect spot for attack and waits until one of the birds makes a fatal mistake. It's a game of strategy and skill, with the killer whale emerging victorious. Now, you might be wondering, why would a killer whale attack a human? 
Well, it turns out that hunger isn't the main motivator. Nope, these attacks are often driven by something much more complex, like boredom, loneliness, or stress. It's like they're acting out because they're not getting enough stimulation or social interaction. This killer whale is named Tilikum. He killed three individuals, Kelty Byrne, Daniel P. Dukes, and Don Branchow. In 2013, CNN Films released a fascinating documentary titled Blackfish, exploring the exploits of Tilikum. But here's the good news. In the wild, killer whales are like the ocean's friendly neighbors, with no fatal attacks on humans ever reported. It's like they know that we're just visiting their home and they're happy to share it with us. At the same time, killer whales are not afraid of humans and even willingly come into contact with us. Surprisingly, despite their huge size and high number, killer whales are one of the least studied marine mammals. Check out these Type D orcas. Back in 1955, their first photos of these unusual orcas were captured in the subantarctic waters, sparking curiosity and intrigue among researchers. But it wasn't until 2014 that these elusive creatures were finally filmed for the first time, revealing a whole new side to the orca family. Known as Type D killer whales, these enigmatic beings stand out from the crowd with their rounded heads, small white spots, sharper dorsal fins, and smaller teeth. It's like they're the rebels of the killer whale world, marching to the beat of their own drum. But here's where things get really interesting. In 2019, scientists made a groundbreaking discovery that shook the marine world to its core. These type D killer whales aren't just different in appearance, they're also genetically distinct, possibly even belonging to a separate species altogether. Now, the total number of killer whale types remains a mystery, but experts estimate that there could be as many as 50,000 individuals roaming the oceans, with about half of them calling the Antarctic waters home. It's like a hidden world waiting to be explored, with secrets waiting to be uncovered. So, if you found this video as fascinating as we did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the depths of the ocean. Until next time, happy exploring.